Welcome to Walks with Moss. Today we're at the ocean. At home it's supposed to be 101 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 38 Celsius. Way too hot for hiking. So we've come to the coast. It's about an hour and a half drive to the coast from home. Not too bad. And it's only supposed to be like 69 degrees here today. It's going to be much better. Much better. So let's put on our sunscreen and go to the beach. We're starting out at Twin Harbor State Park today and we're going to walk up to Half Moon Beach, which is just outside of Westport. We'll have lunch there where I spread my late husband's ashes, hang out with my late husband for a bit, turn around and go back. I used to always hike all the way into the town of Westport and have lunch, but I've kind of slowed down a little bit since those days, so I content myself with turning around at Half Moon Beach. It's going to be a nice long walk either way. I think it's going to be, I don't know, six or seven miles and all on the sand. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I've got a little attenuator on my microphone to try to help some. And I'll try to keep the microphone facing away from the wind. I've made it down to the beach. Not sure where Bella is. I think she's, oh, there she is. She was up in the sand dunes. There's a reason why I pick this beach for walking on. It's because it's closed to vehicle traffic from April 15th to Labor Day. It makes it pleasant for walking. So we're going to leave behind the cars and be on a pedestrian beach now. Pretty sure the camera's going to pick up a ton of wind noise when I turn it around. But anyway, here's where we're headed. Let's do this.
left the beach for a little bit so now I can record audio again. It's so windy down there. The wind is good because it's keeping it cool. Just up here a little ways out of the wind, it's hot. I'm definitely going to need to go swimming in a bit. I'm going to try to find a place down here either in the woods or at a picnic table to rest and have a cup of coffee because this is really taking it out of me today. There's some picnic tables there with wind shelters, but they're still in the sun. And I remember there's nasty grass there that hurts dogs' feet. So we're going to use the facilities and then we will head towards the woods. That wind down there is intense and I'm too hot. But I found a kind of shady spot under the trees here and I might actually try to take a nap here for a little bit. Oh, I bet I can't though. There'll probably be too many bugs. Well, I'll put some bug spray on. I'd like to make some coffee, but I definitely won't be running my cook stove here. I do have some coffee that's designed to be mixed up cold. So let's see. Yeah, here it is. I think I'll have a cup of this. And yeah, gotta put some bug spray on. Oh man, it's wicked here. It's hard to get comfortable here today. Wow. We won't be resting here at all. My bug spray is not in my pack. And these mosquitoes here are especially vicious. There's something about these mosquitoes here on the coast. Their stings just, or their bites, just really, really hurt more than normal mosquitoes. So we won't be getting any rest here. We're going to go back down to the beach where it's windy and there's no mosquitoes. And I'll have my coffee down there. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. These, oh man, I don't know what it is about these mosquitoes here at the beach, but man, their bites just hurt. It would be nice if we could find a windy place that's shady. I don't really think that's going to happen though. There's some nice woods back in here, but not when the mosquitoes are biting. I don't do well in the heat at all. I definitely prefer colder weather. The heat just takes it out of me. And I think a lot of my problem is, is I can't tell when I'm too hot, at least not right away. I just feel tired and then I realize, oh, it's the heat that's making me tired. And by then I'm wiped out. There's a great little trail up here. This is a wheelchair accessible lookout point. I wish they'd put some benches here too, though. It'd be a nice place to sit on a bench. But the only way you can sit here is if you have a wheelchair. So over there in the distance, there's a rock jetty and my late husband's ashes are on the other side of that jetty and that's our goal. And I'm going to stop recording my voice now because the darn wind is kicking up again and it's just gonna not be a fun video to watch if there's constant wind noise. I think the only way I'm going to be comfortable now is going to be if I go swimming. I didn't want to get wet before the turnaround point on my hike, but I don't think I have any choice. I'm too hot and uncomfortable now. So let's go for a swim in the super, super cold ocean on the coast of Washington State.
This is crazy. I was sitting on this rock and dipping my feet in the water to rinse the sand off them so I could put my shoes back on. But there's these little sand shrimps or something in here biting me. We've made it to the jetty anyway. We're going to go over to the other side and have lunch. It might be too windy for me to cook. I might just be eating raw ramen today. Got my shoes on. Got bit three or four times by sand shrimps. I bet Bill is, I bet Bill is getting bit too. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are up on the jetty. And as soon as we get to the other side, we'll be at Half Moon Bay. Sorry about the wind noise. This is Half Moon Bay. This is where my late husband's ashes are. We'll go up to the beach over there. This dumb dog has been drinking salt water, and drinking salt water makes her thirsty. So she drinks more salt water, and then she throws up, and she still drinks more salt water. So she just has this quite figured out that drinking more salt water is not going to quench your thirst. Normally I wouldn't let her drink out of a public toilet, but this is kind of an emergency. <laughs> Go on, buddy, get some more. Come on. Drink enough fresh water that you stop throwing up. Come on. I don't know why Bella hasn't yet figured out that drinking salt water is bad. All my other dogs figured it out pretty quickly, but not Bella. Here we are down on Half Moon Beach. I'm going to try to find a spot in the driftwood to sit and cook my lunch. I think maybe I can get just enough out of the wind. Got to go down here a bit to get away from all the dogs. Normally there's really big waves here. I've rarely seen the waves be so small here. Yeah, we'll sit up in the driftwood somewhere and have our lunch. She's still thirsty. I'm going to try to cook my noodles right here. I've dug it out a bit. It might be a little bit sheltered from the wind. It might work. We'll see. Yes, it's working. I've got just enough out of the wind. Yay. I'm trying to find some place comfortable to eat. Every place has either got too many mosquitoes or too much wind or too many people. And Bella is still drinking water. How much salt water did you drink? I think I found a reasonable place to eat lunch. Not too many people. Not too windy. No mosquitoes. Bella's still drinking water. I know I'm dehydrated because I've given her all of my water several times now. So I need to drink some water instead of giving it all to Bella, who stupidly keeps drinking salt water. Or keeps trying to anyway. All right, lunch is over. Heading back down to the beach.
Well, that's pretty cool, a sand dollar covered stump. I think that's a good note to end this video on. We're still about a mile from the car and we're both pretty tired, but we got some good exercise and we should maybe sleep good tonight. So if you made it this far through the video, thanks for watching and please join us next Sunday for another video and please hit that thumbs up and make comments, all that stuff. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye.